Book 95 of 2019 was Anthem by uh, Anne Rand. Um, for anyone who doesn't know who Anne Rand is, um, she grew up in Soviet Russia and um, kind of obviously moved to America and in a lot of her writings she's very much against communism, she's very much against kind of socialism, she's very kind of conservative in her viewpoints. Um, I first discovered her when I was lent um, Cloud Atlas uh, by somebody that I know um, and I've been recommended to read another one of hers called The Fountainhead I think it's called um, but because it's so big I've kind of like off, like put it put put it off so say off put it then but that doesn't make any sense does it um, I've put it off um, but I feel like after reading this this one uh, the anthem which I really really enjoyed like it was really good um, since reading that I've kind of thought maybe I should go and revisit her other things um, because it was just I mean it's only a really short kind of story. It's kind of more of a novella, I would say. Um, so it's fiction. And it's interesting, this one, because it's got, like, the version of what it is. And then it's got, like, an edited version. So it shows you what it was like before Anne Rand kind of, like, edited it and changed it. Um, and, like, cut bits out and stuff. So that was quite interesting. But essentially, it's like a, it's like a, a quite short tale about... Um, this character who's called um equality 7-2521 so this person's i mean I, i'm thinking it's a he i think it does say it's a he i'm not quite sure whether i've just made that up or not um but um they've been given a name and you know they've all got you know the fact that it's, it's a 7-2521 means that there's lots of people that are called equality um, and lots of people are called different things as well i like values that, that, that the community think that they should you know um embody and um so it, the person's kind of de-individuated already they have to refer to themselves as we which reminded me of another um uh, dystopia book called uh we um which was written by a guy who i can never remember his name and i just said it in the, my other review that i've just recently done um but um he was from russia as well and it's kind of this idea of when you're in kind of like a communist regime, there is no I, there is no individualism. It's all kind of like we. And and by doing that, you kind of stifle individualism and you kind of um, are like forced to kind of fit in with everybody else. And that if your view is different to other people, then you have negative impacts from that, your negative uh, results from that. Um, and so this kind of um book reminded me of Lowry's the giver um that kind of series because in that book which i feel like they might have ripped off this book i mean how where they, where have they got it from otherwise but then maybe i don't know other books use it as well because i guess divergent uses it too um essentially when the children get to well in fact in this one the children uh depending on what year they were born that's kind of like who they um kind of like live with and grow up with and they don't they're not with parents or anything like that they just stay within their kind of year group um as they kind of go through um their childhood and then at a certain age the community assigns them like a career of how they can contribute to, to the community um and unfortunately for this character that's the, the the protagonist of the book um they get assigned a role that's like a like a, a law like a caretaker or a road sweeper or something i can't quite remember uh, which one it was something like that and this character is really intelligent and wants to uh you know he's got he feels like he's cursed because he wants to defy authority and he wants to kind of do his own thing and he's obviously not supposed to do that and he wants to like make a scientific discovery and and then go and show the community that actually he should be in a better job because he wanted to have the career that was where he was like a, an academic and he was you know to to advance scientific inquiry and stuff and and he wasn't given that role so he wants to kind of justify to them like look i've done this and 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 i should be given that role instead and, and it kind of all goes wrong for him um and it kind of almost like reminded me of how in communist regimes you always find that the the least intelligent people are the ones that are at the top the ones that are in charge and they kind of coerce the, the subordinates that are actually more intelligent than they are um and that the idea is that they will limit scientific progress because that then keeps them in power because they're obviously not intelligent enough to go along with that scientific inquiry so i thought it was a really kind of interesting uh interweaving of 
Rand's attitudes towards communist regimes and perhaps Soviet Russia. Um, and so I kind of enjoyed it for that reason. I think if you were reading it without understanding um, communism, then you might not pick up on a lot of the kind of allusions to it. Uh, but obviously I know about it and I, I, I'm really interested in totalitarian regimes and things like that. Um, and so for me, I really, really enjoyed it and, and think that it's well worth a read. And it's really short um, and it's a nice story. Um, and it kind of gets you thinking about, you know, being an individual and obviously for, for someone in an individualistic culture rather than a collectivist culture, um, it feels really odd to not be an individual. Um, and so it's quite harrowing to, to somebody like me who's in that culture. But I guess if you're from a collectivist culture and you have to read it, you might not really get it, I guess, because you would see things as we rather than I. Um, so I'd actually be interested to find out what like kind of cultural uh, responses to the book were and whether they were or not they like the sale figures of the book are higher in individualistic cultures or not. That I'm something um, interesting to kind of investigate. But yeah, I really enjoyed it and I would definitely uh, recommend reading it and, and recommend read, reading it and Ram's other book as well, the uh, uh, Cloud Atlas, because that one's all about... Um, like socialism versus capitalism and she's very on the side of capitalism and you know i i i would deem myself a socialist but then when i read that book i was like oh maybe i'm not because actually you know socialism sometimes breeds laziness and um, you know nationalization is not necessarily a good thing for for companies because it, it gets rid of like competition and stuff like that so i it kind of made me a little bit more central uh, in terms of that rather than just being on kind of one side or the other because I kind of swung I was like very capitalist and I went very socialist and then I'm kind of like more like towards the middle probably more on the side of socialism than capitalism but you know um, Anne Rand is very capitalist so um, it, it's interesting to kind of read uh, that to find different perspective or the same perspective as you or whatever uh, but obviously these are only kind of alluded to in the book because she's, she's a novelist she's writing fiction um, but it has that kind of intellectual underpinning that I really like so yeah I definitely recommend to read some of Anne Rand's stuff.